Well, hello there. Welcome back. Got a few notes to look at. A letter from Sabhorn. Maven. This is the final letter I'll be sending to you. I'm sick to death of your underhanded methods. A little competition never hurt anyone, and Haunting Brew has barely scratched the surface of your business. I've lost two more shipments this month to these so-called bandits. If I find out you're involved, I'm taking it to the Yarrow. Sad horn. I'll go throw it over here. Got a letter from a friend, Feng Dangle. You caused a bit of stir and solitude when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Highgate Ruins. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. And a letter from the steward. Master Aventus Arantino, Yarlalfric Stormcloak wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you are fatherless, you have no other known relations. The Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a few, in a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Arantino family home in the city of Windhelm will of course remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to, the re, to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, Yorlief, steward to our most noble Jarl Alfred Stormcloak. Take a look at that. There's another one, letter to Goldir. Well, Goldir, I'm impressed. I know what trouble you Nords have with literacy. Those big words must put such a strain on your tiny brains. And I'm surprised you can smell anything of the stink of your own filth. Why don't you meet me at the Helgrun's tomb and I'll show you the way we deal with ancestors in Morrowind. Vals Varen. Wind Peak Inn features the finest bard in all of Dawnstar. Me. <laughs> yes? Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? Hi there. I'm late. Gotta run. Many thanks. Another letter. Um, not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Door to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portcullis. Unlock the armory door and break into the dwarven puzzle lock chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. 
I left your cut in the usual drop spot. I might have another job for you soon. I work for the Wing Peak Inn. You should head on inside. Oh, uh, just spent the night there, Adlon. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. No, I'm on my way to an island. Hey. Uh, hey. If those white run guards can take down a dragon, so can we. Yeah. Bulfric. Just a servant of Skald the Elder. Not worthy of time or consideration. Yarl. I'm Skald's house. My yard. No I have concerns house. about the safety of Dawnstar. No Southern Guard waits for safety. dusty leaders. Don't I have you to handle the town's safety? What is this about, Yard? You keep pledging more and more of our guard to the front lines. The way this is going, we won't be able to defend our own borders. Nonsense. The best place for our men is driving the Imperials back. I will ensure that men from Dawnstar get every opportunity for glory. Glory is meaningless if they have no home to return to. I urge you to lower our commitments to the front until I'm sure we're safe. I won't have you rob our soldiers of their chance to drive out the Empire. I'm done discussing this, Yard. Hey, Jarl. The nightmares in Dawnstar have lifted, and I hear you help that happen. You have my thanks. Yeah. You got any more work? Giants are a common problem in the Pale. The Empire always demanded I leave them be, but <laughs> the Empire isn't here now. Go and slay one of the beasts. Should let them know that Dawnstar is not to be trifled with. It'll be done. I'm counting on you. Good luck with the giant. Don't get stepped on. I'm no one special. Just a miner who swings a pickaxe for his drinking money. If I have a drink, you can have one. Got any ale or mead? Yeah, I got some mead. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I'm really not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. Someone wants you dead, Beal. And let me guess, that someone is my so-called husband, Leg Elf? Well, the feeling's mutual. I'm busy, and you're bothering me. So go away. Hey, Ergner. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. So go away.
going somewhere over there.